This is one use of having a diplomat in the city. Notice how the World Congress is now here. And you can ask him if he'll vote in a certain way. Um, if you pay him, usually. Now, I don't think... Yeah, nothing that I do is going to make him vote against his own proposal. But what I can do... Is make sure that he uses one of his votes in theory. No, nope, he won't do it. But in theory, I was going to make him try and make sure he votes to embargo Greece. So he can't use one of his votes to shoot down the repeal. Because unlike American politics, we're not just going to get stuck at a fucking stop still. A standstill and no one wants to do anything because no one will accept any compromise. Oh, sorry, that dirty foreigner was talking about American politics. It's amazing. Not only how ridiculous American politics looks to outsiders, but how aggressive Americans will defend their political system against people that aren't American. I don't come here from the UK, well, you know, I, I am a British person, whether I'm in the UK or not is irrelevant, I still pay a lot of attention to uh, the UK. I'm actually in Canada at the moment, physically. But anyway, you will definitely not hear from me that the British political system is perfect. Far from it. It doesn't help that most of the people that are in power are morons, but um, the, the actual system itself is a bit flawed too. Now, because we've taken Athens, our spy that was there has obviously had to run away. Because we're not going to capture our own guy. Uh, what we're probably going to do instead is uh, move it to Sparta for now. Because we haven't got a much better option. And just keep an eye, because we can't see, well, we actually can, but in theory we shouldn't be able to see a city. It just so happens that the way that geographically it is, there are a lot of hills next to Sparta, so we can see into it. Sparta it, itself is actually on a hill, though, which will make capturing it a bit of a pain in the bum. What deal will he give us now? He'll give us two cities, and it might be worth taking them off him now and just burning them. Um, I don't really want Argos though because it'll just rebuild it the second I burn it. Although of the three cities up here, Argos is probably the only one I'd be even tempted to keep. It's not a horrible city, it's just not a very good one. I mean there are a few things going for it. It's on a river, it's got a luxury resource, it's got a couple of sheep, that's pretty good. It's got desert stone, so not so good. It's not a terrible city, unlike Mycenaean Knossos or Knossos, which are both absolute tripe. Can I get all three of them off him? Argos, Knossos, and Mycenae. No, he won't do it. What about if I do this? What about this? No. What about this? Oh, stubborn bugger. It's <laughs> annoying. Because I don't really want to keep this going and going and going because he'll end up just giving most of his cities away to somebody else, which I really don't want. That would be just awful. We definitely want Argos, that's for sure, but... Which city of these two would be better to get now so I could burn them? Because I don't mind Kaisel collecting some of these tiles. If anything, that would be a good thing. Ha. Well, if it was me, I don't think I'd have put my scene now where it is. Even if I was trying to block with cities. I think I would have put it on the coast. Sure, there aren't many um, tiles to work there, but it would give other cities more tiles to work. Um... It's a tough decision, guys. I'm almost tempted to go for a break and think about it, but I don't think I've been recording long enough to really do that legitimately. Oh, it's a tough one. I'm quite happy to keep these two cities here, 
because they will be quite a good buffer against um, the other AI. And as it happens, Darius has got Sousa back. Uh, oh, I don't know. I think I'll take Nos off and burn it. And he can keep my C9 because I can capture that probably more easily next time. D? Now, in theory, because they're very similar cities, um, he should give me Nosos. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it couldn't have been that good a city. Right. Argos. Ooh, Argos, we're going to have laggy. Um, Argos, we're going to keep, and we are going to burn that to the floor. Because there is absolutely no benefit to having Nosos. I don't want another city where all the city-states will just pile in if we have another war. So we're not going to do that. We're going to leave a lot of our units currently where they are for a few turns, just so he doesn't get any ideas. So... We're doing pretty well for ourselves. I wonder if he'll start stockpiling at my scene now, because it's near my borders. Constructing an archaeological dig is what you would do. Um, it takes 11 turns. It takes more if the uh, if the antiquity site is obviously on forest or jungle. It has to get rid of that first. So one technique if you're trying to get these sites quickly is to chop them really, really quickly indeed before an a archaeologist gets there using a worker, obviously. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say yes now, because obviously I'm not going to try and befriend Greece, there's no point for that. Uh, Darius, if we're friends with him, will keep our other major border safe. So at this point in time, when we're going to go into recuperation mode, that'll be fine. If you're wondering about our happiness, the reason it's so low is because we're currently burning down a city. It'll go back positive very soon. Yeah, fortify everything for now, apart from this caravan, because obviously fortifying that will do booga and all. Where is Samarkand? No, we'll not, we'll not trade with that. I could trade with my Mycenae, ironically. That would make one benefit of it being there, but we're not going to. What we are going to do... Is... Let's have a look. What requires our help? We're going to go to Coimbra with it, I think, and give them some production because we want to get a muse another museum quite quickly. We get boarding party three! Yay! That's kind of pointless, but never mind. <laughs> Are there any cities, states that we've stopped? Yeah, we're not at war with any of them anymore. Good! Excellent. It doesn't matter what you build there, because you're being melted to the floor. Oh wow, there's a Greek coup in Brussels. We did have support there, we don't anymore. Looks like Greece is going to start being all passive-aggressive with us over city-states, which is not a huge surprise, to be honest, that's just what he does. He's, he tends to be a pain in the backside on the map, especially if diplomatic victory can... Oh my word. We can actually have a research agreement. I would rather, though, make a deal like this. Yeah, that's better. Because we're ahead of him, he wants us to pay him a little bit of a subsidy towards the research agreement. But as I happen to have a spare luxury resource, it's much better to trade it like that. Obviously, you have to be friends with someone to do a research agreement with them because it is a financial uh, deal where you need money up front. The amount of money is based upon how far in the game people are. Um, Monty's got spare citrus. Who's got anything else? 
Nobody else has enough gold by the looks of it for um, a deal. How many luxuries have we got spare? We're not friends with him anyway, so we couldn't do anything particularly fancy, but we can do that. Which means our empire is happy even though we're burning a city to the floor. Yay! Hooray for arson! Well, don't take that quote out of context. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah. Brussels still has a warrior. That's a bit embarrassing. I suppose it must never have had any access to iron. We're in great shape now, as it happens. Like, really good shape. The only thing that really sucks is that because we now have Athens, um, obviously that's the holy city for Eastern Orthodoxy, that won't spread anymore. The world has entered the industrial era, either because half of the civilizations have reached it, or one civilization has got an era beyond. City states now actually have a vote, so whether you're allied with them is important, so Greece is um, secretly celebrating very much so. Unfortunately for us, because Greece is such a popular guy with city states right now, he has a whole whopping 14 votes. And what that means is that he's going to host the uh, council. And pretty much whatever he's, his vote is, goes. Uh, as a consequence, it's actually absolutely pointless us voting for ourselves, because we can't win. So what we're going to do is vote for Persia. Even with all our votes, Persia won't win. Because between us, we still don't have enough votes to beat Greece. However... Doing this will make him very, very popular with us. And he'll be very happy with us. So that's why we're going to do that. Uh, we will build a, a training post. What we actually want to do now, though, is not have a spy there. What we want to do is have in Sparta a diplomat. Because we want to be able to see what his thoughts on voting is. Or what his thoughts are when it comes to voting. So we have a university now. Um, what does this city need next? Probably an amphi or maybe a... Yeah, we'll go with an aqueduct. Uh, what was I going to do? I just had another brain fart. I can't remember what I was going to do. Um, I cannot remember. Give me a sec. I will remember. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, I can't remember. Not that it matters too much now. We're in a really good situation. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Ding dong. When I captured Athens, I got great work. So I was going to see if any of them I can get better synergy off to create more tourism. That was what I was going to do. I can't believe I forgot. Oh, we'll do it next turn after the city-states and the barbs do their thing. Do, 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 do your thing. See, Greece becomes the host. Um, so we've got an armory. Now is the time we're going to want to start building shrines because when we get to research labs, we want to actually be able to build them quite quickly. So, Athens it has Renaissance era writing, and everything else I presume has been flooded into Lisbon. Because that's where it could be held. For a theming bonus off um, the Sistine Chapel, we need art from the same Civ and era. I don't think we can physically do that. Uh, we could, but we'd have to take it from another thing that's getting synergy, so that's not worthwhile. For the Great Library, we need writings from different eras and different Civs. I think we might be able to do that. So that's Greece Industrial. That's also Greece, so we don't want that. Um, that will that will work. Yep, yeah, we got a synergy off that. That's perfect. There's no synergy off this, but I might as well put it there for sake of being OCD and keeping things as tidy as possible. The reason I'm keeping a great work in Athens is because obviously more culture means quicker border popping. And that is important because I want to make sure I've got all the tiles I physically can. I think I actually might have almost all of them already. I quite like that tile. Really, It's not one that I can work 
between the Greek worker and the um, musket that I own, but I want to try and get as much land as I can so that Sparta can't use it. I know that's a bit cruel, but that's the way this game works sometimes.